Oh, but you can see everything. Hold on. <laughs> what mess? I don't know. Yeah, no, this is still super messy. What I could do is... Yeah, okay. My room's a filthy, dirty mess. I just got home from thrifting. My days off always seem to consist of... Uh, the same things. I usually go thrifting in the morning at like 11 and then I'll thrift for like an hour, like an hour and a half or two hours. I have like a bunch of friends who work downtown. Well, actually like two or three. I'll like rotate. Like every week I'll like go for lunch with a different one or like meet someone downtown and like what day is it? Oh, fuck. There's a market on Thursdays that has, like, the best fucking hummus. Last week I went, because I was off on Thursday, but I got there too late. So they didn't have the hummus. And now I'm not off. I thought maybe today was Thursday. I was about to turn this off and go run to the fucking... But I probably would have got there too late. Anyways, because the thrift store was fucking bumping, man. I don't know what's going on. It was, like, 50% off shirts or something, so everyone went ape shit. Literally lined up at the fucking changing room with carts full I'm like y'all the thrift store is not going nowhere I usually go thrifting like once or twice a week because there's like two like main thrift stores that I go to so I usually just like like we'll rotate between them if I go twice in one week I go to both the one like closer to my work and then there's one like right beside my boyfriend's work so um both of them work out for me somebody Kayla has asked me to do a thrifting haul so I thought I would do that. While I was thrifting I always, okay so I go thrifting, I go for like two hours and I literally like bring my headphones, I ain't talking to nobody, I don't like really going thrifting with people. Going thrifting with people is fun because like you can look at funny stuff and like laugh together. Besides that like I don't actually like, I can't actually focus on like getting good stuff unless we like separate and like don't like you know what I mean? There's only like one person I really do that with and that's my friend Peter because we both are kind of the same way but uh, everyone else is just like looks really quick and they're like okay I'm done and I'm like uh <laughs> so I usually just go by myself. I usually listen to music but lately I've been oh I was gonna show you but it's on my phone which is this is what we're using. There's this new podcast that I've been listening to well the podcast probably not new but everyone's kind of talking about it because there was like a Chrissy Teigen like, um, there's an episode, I just listened to the episode, she has, like, a cooking thing that they, like, put a commercial for in, and she, like, tweeted about it, something like that, and my friend was like, oh, you should listen to this, um, this podcast is really good, apparently. Nothing replaces cereal in my heart, I've listened to cereal, like, one million times, but I was like, okay, well, if this is, like, you know, people are digging it, like, they dig cereal, then this probably gotta be good. So I listened to it, and, like, every episode's a different story, but it's so crazy, like, I... I, this could be a whole video like literally me at the podium like they're like what do you like about this podcast oh my god every single day I get home I always like get so excited to tell my boyfriend about the episode that I listened to pretty sure the first thing I said to him this morning was like yesterday I listened to the craziest episode of that podcast it was about serial killers and this one serial killer killed like 40 people and got away with it and he was like huh I was listening to that podcast while I was there I listened to this episode it was like an hour and a bit it was about this like couple who was in a relationship and they it was like an abusive relationship so she like hired a hitman to kill him. It's like a whole, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna spoil it. But it's like pretty crazy and I was listening to it and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like it just like put me in such a, like a weird mood and like they were talking about, I can't. Put me in a weird mood and I was like, how am I supposed to go home and film a video right now? I'm in the weirdest mood thinking about this and like it just give me the heebie-jeebies. So I just like quickly listened to Beyonce on my way home. I was like, I need to get into a better mood. And then Irreplaceable came on and I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. So I put on like fucking Flawless Remix and I was like, here we go. So here we are. So now I'm going to show you. Um, so yeah, I've gone like thrifting twice in the last week. So I'll show you the stuff I got from that stuff. Um, because like pretty much my whole wardrobe has morphed into stuff that I've thrifted. Like the whole outfit I'm wearing right now is from the thrift store. And if it's not from the thrift store, it's from H&M. But I've gotten rid of a lot of my old clothes. A lot of my, um, my style has changed a lot. Let me show you the stuff that I got. Oh, I have it all over here because I was going to film over there. I wish this was a little bit more up high. I don't want to sit. Wish I, oh, I should sit on something. Not smart. <laughs> When you're short, you have to sit on things. <laughs> this is stuff that I've gotten in the last week. That I haven't worn any of this yet. Because some of it I just got today. And then the other stuff I just got out of the washing machine. Okay, so like my, my favorite section that I always check is the men's dress shirts. Pretty much 30% of my wardrobe is oversized men's dress shirts that I wear on top of millions of other things. I got this one. Just like a classic, you know, whatever. It's like an extra large... That's my shit right there. Another thing I got were these overalls. 
it's so hard for me to find like jeans or like overalls or anything that fit my body properly like just my size and everything and these actually do so i'm excited to wear them i bought some like a couple weeks ago that are like just a little bit too big but i was like i could fucking i'll work with it but these ones fit me better so i'll wear both of them but like whatever. a lot of the cute shits from old navy to be honest and like when i go to old navy there's shit all there so like i've been buying a lot of like silk stuff like you know what I mean? A lot of like 90s and shit like that. I find a lot of good stuff like that from the thrift store. But I've been wanting a robe for a long time. And I got this one. It was brand new. It still had the tags on. It's from Livian Rose. And it's all, you know, bougie and shit like that. I was like, I'm feeling it. You know, my man's likes it. It all works out for me. And then the last thing I got from that day were these shoes. I don't know. They're kind of they're kind of weird, but kind of sick at the same time. I just need to clean them. I think. Another thing I get a lot of, um, well, not a lot of, but I always look at is home decor because like I'm just collecting shit for when I move out. I have so much cute stuff, and like I'm never here. Like I'm never here. I'm always at my boyfriend's house, so I don't really decorate my room anymore. But like pretty much all my mirrors, that plant, like everything is from there these days. I find a lot of like gold mirrors or like picture frames or like things like this that like will fucking I'll use for something one day when I move out instead of spending one million dollars on cute stuff I will have collected it all by then so that's my plan and then I got this shirt today was 50% off shirts apparently so that worked out in my favor this was like one dollar I don't know what the hell this is to be honest I just really like the colors and I like t-shirts I like tucking them into jeans or like wearing them to bed um so yeah I don't know I don't know what the fuck this is but I just like it caught my eye and I was like, damn. Okay, I actually found jeans. It's so hard for me to find jeans because they either fit my waist, not my legs, or like they fit my legs but not the leg waist, or they're like too tight in my thighs and then loose at the bottom. Like, come on. These are actually my Kelvins as well. Um, they're, I think they're, they're literally called petite. Normally I'm like a size four or like a size six and these are an eight. So with that being said, that's just proof that you need to check all the sizes because like these fit me like perfectly but usually eights would be way too big so sometimes you just actually have to like look in the other sizes i used to not like i used to go up to like size six and i was like okay there's nothing here i guess it all depends on what brand you go to too but every pants that i like there's like a pair of pants that i bought that were size four from superstore and they're way too big on me so like i don't fucking know i don't know what size i am to be honest work i dress like um fancy i like, was supposed to wear like professional clothes um, which a lot of them I get at the thrift store or I buy like a lot of turtlenecks and I tuck them into dress pants. I found this shirt and I used to hate red on me and I'm recently just starting to like it more. And a lot of the times the dress shirts that I buy that I can actually wear outside too like with jeans. Like I just like fucking turn it from a day to night look I just unbutton it and tie it and like suddenly I'm a work thought. Every time I go to the thrift store, it seems lately, there's like one thing that it like catches my eye and I'm like, okay, that's kind of ugly. Then I kind of walk away and then I'm like, I kind of like that. So that's what this shirt is. And I took a picture of me wearing it and I sent it to literally everyone on my Snapchat. I was like, I need all hands on deck right now. I was like, is this cute? Is this a vibe or is this too old lady like? And everyone said it's a vibe, so I don't fucking know. And you know it's old lady because it comes with shoulder pads, but fucking rip those right off. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I fuck with it. Anyways, that's my haul. Um, I could do more of these if you want. Or just let me know what you want me to do. I know everyone's saying tea videos, but it's not really me anymore. Thanks for watching. Most of this was just me rambling and not really the actual thrift haul, but you got both. You get both. I'll get you someone who do both. So I'll talk to you later.